Hey everybody, I hope you're having a great day today, no matter where you are in this beautiful world. Before we get started with today's video, I do want to remind everybody that you can become a member to the channel for just 99 cents a month. Starting January 1st, 2023, the MVP, VIP, and Pro versions of the memberships will all be disappearing and those perks will go to the 99 cent member. It's an easy way to support the channel you like and it's a great way to support the content you like. Also, we're closing in on 20,000 subscribers. Well, as you all know, I cover a lot of Linux on this channel. A lot of Linux. And I love it for the simple fact that Linux is free, open source, and it's just a great way to get rid of Mac or get rid of Windows, whatever you might be using. Well, today we're going to veer off a little bit. I'm going in a little different direction because I'm going to show you nine mind-blowing websites that you can use no matter what operating system you use. So let's just get on over and get to the first one. This site right here is amazing. It's Pixabay. And I'll make sure that I link all of these websites that I'm getting ready to show you here in just a second. Uh, what is great about Pixabay? What if you're looking for royalty-free images or royalty-free illustrations, vectors, videos, music, sound effects, GIFs, users? If you're a creator, if you're putting together presentations and you want to add a little spice to it, Pixabay is the place to come. You can come over here and you can choose photos. Let's say we were looking for something like technology. So we'll put in technology and it'll do a big search. And what you get is all these free photos. If you need to integrate them into a website, into a video, or maybe even integrate them into some presentation you're putting together. You can use all of these for free. Basically, you don't have to give credit to the creators and you don't have to give credit to the website. You can do whatever you want. Now, if you wanted to get something technology, let's say with videos, you could pull up the videos. There's a 30 second technology clip right here. You just click on it. You can integrate it into whatever you want and you get a free download. And if you see right here, Pixabay license, it's free to use under the Pixabay license. No attribution required. So definitely, if you're doing creative work, if you're doing any kind of work, videos, whatever you might need, Pixabay is definitely a place to come check out. Now let's move on to our next one, which is Whiteboard. And like I said, I'll put all these links down below. It's W-I-T-E-B-O-A-R-D, not with an H. So it doesn't have an H, but Whiteboard. Basically what I use this one for is sometimes when I get into conversations when I'm doing meetings, whether they be Zoom meetings or whatever they might be, I want to be able to do an illustration or show something on the screen that helps me get what I'm talking about or my point across. That's just one of the things I use it for. But with whiteboard, like you see, you can come down here and you can pick the pencil and you can go up here and if you draw a circle, you can draw a square or you can write if you want to. So, you know, I'll try to write my name with a mouse. But you can also come down here and just pick a straight line if you want to put a straight line in there. Or you can come in and put text, come up here and put in, you know, check out Ebo Central. There are so many different things you can do with this and it makes things a lot easier when you're trying to communicate, especially if you're trying to get something across online or in a meeting and you need a little help doing it. So you can do that. Uh, it comes in real handy. So whiteboard, it's definitely something to check out and it's definitely a great tool to use. So let's get on to the next one, which is blush. Now blush, let's say you're putting together a presentation. Let's just go to an illustration real quick. Let's say we wanted to do wavy buddies. Maybe you wanted to change things up and you just want to put some kind of illustration into a presentation you're doing, or it doesn't have to be that. Whatever you might be needing to add an illustration to, uh, let's go ahead and pull up Beep Beep. And it gives you a lot of different options down here. You can change the vehicles. If you switch the vehicle, you can go with something like that. And then, of course, you can go with the guy on a bicycle. But there's so many different things you can do and change on here and really just kind of let your creativity get the better of you. You can go in and you can do stuff. You can edit it. Let's come up here and edit it. And it lets you edit. You got power lines up here. Let's say we don't want power lines. Let's say we want mountains in the background. So there you got mountains. And instead of the street light, let's say we had a cow or uh, another street light. There's a street light there. There's a street light here. Uh, let's put a stop sign there. You can pretty much create everything that you want here. If you want to change the background color, you can. There's also filters. Now, this is required for the pro version, but everything that I'm showing you right now, you can do on the free version. It just gives you a nice way to create things that if you're doing a presentation or whatever it is you might be doing that you need to add an illustration to, it gives you that power and it makes it really simple. So check out Blush. 
Now let's get on to the next one. And that would be card with two R's. This is basically a very simple, free, fully responsive one page website. Now, if you wanted to choose a starting point, we could come over here. And basically what it lets you do is do a really quick one page web page for yourself. So let's say I wanted to go with something. Let's just do this one right here. Let's select this one. And this is a free one. And right here, it lets you add elements, undo previous action. And you can go, okay, got it. Let's say I wanted to change this over. Let's just click on that. And I will make this, let's say, eBuzz Central. eBuzz Central. And then you could come down here. Where's this text at? And I could go over here. We could go, does technology based videos. And then you could go get in touch. You could put your email address in here. Just click on that. And then you could come down here and put your email. Or you could change the icon as well. Email, email alternative, fax, documents. You could pretty much customize it. You could put your image up here. Then you could click done. You could put all your icons down here. You could add your addresses to those. And then you could come up here and you could go publish. And then over here, you would just have to make your account, confirm your password, and then it would give you a title, description, and then it's going to give you publish to a .card .co URL. You get a free URL. That's really nice. You could go with a bigger page if you wanted to. I'm just doing this real quick to show you kind of the power that card has. So it's definitely something to take a look at. If it's something you, you can use, please zip down in the description, go to their website, and check it out. Now, let's go on to the next. Now, what runs? This right here is a great browser extension. I don't run Chrome, but if you run Chrome, Chromium, uh, Edge, or something like that, basically what you do is you add this to that web browser, and when you put in a web page, it will tell you what runs that web page. And basically, here's where it helps out. Have you ever went to a web page and said, man, I like the fonts they're using, or what are they, how are they doing this, or how are they doing that? Well, when you plug that web page into what runs, it gives you all of it. it tells you what fonts they're using, it, what their web page is built on, whether it's WordPress, or whatever website building tool they're using, it'll let you know about that. So if you're somebody that's interested in that or wants to know more information about websites, definitely check out what runs. And the next one I want to go over is cover with two R's. This is kind of like Pixabay. It's just another way to get you great content that you might need for videos that you're doing, projects that you're doing, and you can pretty much get whatever you want. Let's go with aerial videography. Now, bringing up the aerial videography, you'll know this first one right here says related Shutterstock videos. You want to skip these because those do cost money, but these right here are free aerial videography stock videos. Let's say you wanted to incorporate this into a video that you're doing or a project that you're doing. There it is right there. All you got to do is go up to free download and download it. You can do this with pictures. You got more free stock videos right here. There's an overview. I like that one too. Let's look at this one. See, look at how beautiful this is. And this content is free. It's out there for you to use and utilize. So definitely give cover a shot. It's a great website and it has a lot of great content for you to use. So let's get on to the next, which is Flourish. Now this is a great data visualizing and storytelling place. You can come over here, let's go over to features, and basically what this gives you the ability to do is do different kind of diagrams, heat maps, uh, you can put in your own graphics. It really just gives you the power to, if you're wanting to keep track of data or wanting to parse data in a certain way, this is a great place to do it. You've got examples, let's go to examples, and when those pop up, you've got urban population by country, more example templates, you've got storytelling, election data, spike maps, Data Explorer, Maps, 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 Maramico Charge, Visual Football and Sports Data. You can just come over here and pretty much anything that you want to keep track of data-wise, whether it's your own personal data or if it's something for your work, Flourish is the place that you can do it. And it makes it look beautiful. You can see the way this one is working right here. So if that's something that you could use or if that's something that you need to use, zip on over and check Flourish out. It's a great website. The next is Untools. Now, what Untools is, is it's basically tools for better thinking. If you're wanting to set up something for system thinking, decision making, problem solving, communication, they've got everything that you need here to do that. Uh, productive thinking model, six thinking hats, 
look at a decision from different perspectives. I like the Eisenhower matrix, which prioritizes your actions and tasks by importance and urgency. And what's great is when you pick the different ones you want to try or you want to use, it tells you right over here exactly how to set it up and how to use it. Like right down here, you've got important and not important, urgent and not urgent. Like on your urgent and important is finish a report that's due, send draft to a client, or fix a bug. And if you go to a not urgent or not important, you come over here, attend a meeting with no agenda, read hashtag randoms, or check your social media. It kind of puts everything in perspective and kind of keeps you on track with the goals that you set for yourself. That's just one of them. It has so many other ones to choose from. I use this one most of the time. The Eisenhower Matrix is pretty much what I set my daily schedule up on it. And then you can put it into practice. You can obviously print the things out if you want to. But there are so many different things that you can do with Untools. I suggest if you want to keep better track of your workflow or you want to keep better track of your goals, definitely give Untools a shot. And last but not least is Lumen 5. Lumen 5 is a quick way to make little video snippets or little things that you want to do that in a video that make things really easy. Now, these aren't full-fledged YouTube videos. These are more for like uh, presentations and things like that. And then if you go up to features, let's go to turn blogs into videos. Let's go ahead and pull that up. Basically, it uses AI. You can make a list of things that you want to do, and then it will turn that list into a video. It's really nice. It's fun to play around with. I haven't really dove into it. I have a client that uses it, and I kind of looked at it a little bit where he was using it, and it's really amazing. But that's definitely something. If you want to take a quick blog and turn it into a video, Lumen automatically does that for you, and it's great. What it does is the AI will take your list, turn that list into a video. If you see up here, it kind of goes through everything, shows you Granville Island, shows you Capilano, the suspension bridge, that's just an easy one. So if there's something that you want to do that roams around that kind of thing or roams around a blog or a, a list of things that you want something to automatically create, Lumen5 is definitely something to take a look at. Well, that's the list of nine mind-blowing websites. Is there something that isn't on the list that you think needs to be? Are any of these websites something that you might give a shot to? If they are, or if there's something I missed, please let me know in the comments below. Do me a favor before you leave today. Please like the channel. Likes keep me in YouTube's algorithm, which means if you found the information in this video helpful, somebody else out there might as well. And subscribe. Doesn't cost anything. And if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. You also can become a member right here on YouTube for just 99 cents a month. But that's not all. We are also on Nutrion, which you can become a member on at $2.99 a month, or Odyssey, which is $4 a month. You can also buy us a cup of coffee, maybe zip on over to PayPal and throw us a donation, or go over to Patreon and become a patron to the channel. All those links will be in the description below. As always, thank you for watching my video, and I will see you in the next video.